Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. And today, most cars have Bluetooth capability in it. However, there are still a lot of cars on the road, including yours, that may not. I want to share with you today how this device can give you the ability to have a Bluetooth connection to make phone calls and listen to music. I'll play some music, I'll play a, a call that I recorded on the highway and even do a live demo. We'll go into my car. Now, my car does have Bluetooth capability in it, but I was asked to do a review on the product and so I was able to do it with this device so we could still have sound coming through my speakers. It's a nice little device and I have had an opportunity to use it. So I have so far been impressed with the product, uh, you know, for the most part and you'll be able to hear the, the, the call quality. I think that would be what I'd be most concerned about. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, after I've had a chance to go into my car and dive in and as I summarize my final thoughts. So in addition to obviously the product, you've got the box, you've got your manual, and there's uh, good information in here in the manual, nice and clean, two sides, um, pretty easy to read, uh, and you'll have some good information. Hopefully my video that will be of help. And then you have an auxiliary cable. Just some of the highlights to the product. Uh, it supports hands-free FM transmitter. So you'll see what you'll do is you will tie your FM frequency to the device so those two frequencies match up. It supports a USB charger, a voltage detection, which I mentioned the auxiliary, and micro SD card reading. In fact, I will be demoing with my micro SD card reading as well as I've got a, a jump drive here. And so there is a uh, port actually for the micro US micro USB uh, card there, and then the cruiser uh, card uh, USB connects there. Uh, and then you have all your connections right here uh, on the display. There you'll see it will light up, and I'll demonstrate it to you how it all works in my car. Uh, any other uh, information just to share with you? It's got an auto power off memory. Function. It's uh, got two USB connections, as you'll uh, see uh, right down here, uh, so you can charge your phone. Uh, it's got a 5 volt, 5 volt 1 amp and a 5 volt 2.4 output amp. Uh, and other than that, uh, again, we'll go through in my car how it all works so you can see it in action. And then, of course, you can click on the link in the description where you could read other reviews and of course order it. Also, thanks for liking this video, subscribing to my channel, really appreciate it. And uh, here we go, let's dive into my car, get uh, an idea what it's all about, how it all works, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, so we're in my car. We're gonna go ahead and show you how you set up, program the device, so you can have Bluetooth connectivity. You can hear through your speakers for music and calls. First of all, um, again, my car has Bluetooth capability built in the car, but this for demonstration purposes, so you can see if your car doesn't have that capability, you could now turn it into that capability through your speakers with sound for, again, for music and calls. First of all, what you wanna do is, you'll see this 107.3. What that is, is the station that you're gonna to wanna to match with your station in your car. So 107.3 seems to have good reception in my area for being able to connect, because you're using an FM frequency. So you can adjust, do you find one that matches, but you wanna find a station that doesn't have an active radio station. You wanna find one really that has uh, static. So high up, you could try 107.3. Now, there are two Bluetooth ports here that are lit up where you can use for charging your phone. So I'm gonna plug into, let me turn it off so you can see. I'm gonna plug it in, and now it's charging. Now I'm gonna unplug it. Now, next what you wanna do, uh, since we've got the stations that match, you, and you might need to adjust even after you uh, connect via Bluetooth, but we're gonna go into Bluetooth settings, and I'm gonna look for other devices, and it's, it's gonna say, BC37, and then it will let me know once it's connected as well. So I click on the BC37, and we should hear that it's, and see that it's gonna connect. So uh, first time it did a quick, uh, let's see how long it takes to connect. And it looks like it's trying to connect, and it might take a minute. And let's give it a few seconds to connect, so you can see how long it takes. 
Okay. Bluetooth connection is successful. So you can hear it. It took about a good 10 seconds, and it said Bluetooth connection is successful. Okay, now I could now play whatever I want from my device through my speakers. So I'm going to play first some music here. Uh, we're going to go to let me go into my app that I've got some music. So I'm going to click and play one of the songs. And there you go. It's playing music right through my speakers from my phone through a Bluetooth connection. Now there are some buttons on here. So you got your seek forward, seek back, and this middle button is for play pause. So if I were to pl pr press on that, you could see play pause. Uh, you can also adjust the volume as well, uh, either through your phone, your car speakers, or even through the device. If you hold down the device, the fast forward button, that would adjust the volume. So there you go. Um, and by the way, uh, the which I should mention, there is a channel up and a channel down. That is for adjusting to what channel you need to be on to match your stations there. And then down here as well, just so you know, there's the uh, make an outbound call and hang up there. Okay, so next up again, I'll play, let me go back, I'll play another sound so you can hear. So you can hear it sounds actually really good, I think. Uh, so that's that one. I'll play another one. Okay, so there you go. That, that is playing with any through any app on my phone. Now we've got an option where we can use the micro, the microchip. Or uh, there we go, and you can plug that in on the side of the device. Plug that in. TF card mode. It's the TF card mode. So the TF card is is in there, and now you, if you want to go back, it automatically once you connect that in or plug it in, it goes to the TF card. If you want to go back to Bluetooth, you would just press the mode button. Bluetooth mode. And it will tell you Bluetooth mode. TF card mode. TF card mode. So now you can start playing once you save music that way as well. And then if you press the fast forward, you can go to the net or seek forward or you could seek back. And there you go. You can play your different music. It works really well, very smooth. And again, if you want to adjust the volume down, you can adjust the volume so you can see it's going higher and lower. Okay, now if you have, like I have, I've got this a scan disc. There is also the port, which you can plug on the side here. And you can play music off that option if you have that instead. You host play. You host play, it said. So now it's playing songs off of here. And again, you could play pause. And then again, you TF could card mode. you go to TF card mode. Bluetooth. You go mode. to Bluetooth mode. You host play. And then you host play. So there you go. So you've got those modes. Now we're going to do a phone call. We'll do a live phone call, and we'll play back so you can hear what that sounds like. And I'll also play a recording of me on the highway. So let me go ahead and dial my phone. Now you can hear a little bit of static. You've reached the voicemail of Sid Sheck. Please leave your name, company name, and phone number after the tone. I'll be sure to call you back as soon as possible. Make it a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I am doing a test here in the car with the Bluetooth device, leaving a test, testing one, two, three. So let's play if you're back. Satisfied with the message, press one. Message review. I am doing a test here in the car with the Bluetooth device, leaving a test, 
testing one, two, three. If you're satisfied with the message erased, at the tone, please. So there you go. This gives you the ability to make phone calls, to listen to music, all with Bluetooth connectivity and this device. And then when you're done and you don't want to use it any further, you could just power off and you can hear that static on your radio station. You could turn it back on and you could see it's going to set up and that's how quickly it is. Okay, so what I want to do now is play a call of me driving on the highway so you can hear that sounds as well. Uh, when in driving mode, and hopefully that part of is, is of help. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play that now. I am leaving a test of the BT hands-free car charger. I am doing about 75 miles an hour on the highway, doing a test with the BT hands-free car charger. Okay, so hopefully the demo was of help, get a better understanding of how it works, how it sounds for listening to music, and call quality. And as I mentioned early in the video, if there is one bit of concern to the product, it is call quality. That would be probably something that I would have to pass on the product because for me, you know, call quality is important. People need to hear you. However, it is manageable, but just do keep in mind, it's not going to sound as good as having a Bluetooth headset in your ear or a wired headset or even speaking directly into the phone. But as far as music, I thought it works well. Uh, You might have to adjust the FM frequency to avoid static, so you might get that as well. But what this, again, will do is give you the ability to have hands-free, have Bluetooth connectivity in your car. So I hope this overview and review is of help. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, click on the link in the description. And you could see, again, any other reviews, ask questions, and of course, order it. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.